Hello, how are you? Welcome to the chapter Gashas Exchange. I'll be your uh, presenter teacher Nyamawi Juma of War Girls High School. Now, what do you understand by the term Gashas Exchange? Remember in Form 1, we learned that Gashas Exchange is one of the characteristics of living organisms. Do you remember the proper definition of the terminology gaseous exchange? Try to define gaseous exchange to your neighbor. Tell him the meaning of gaseous exchange. So, uh, um, gaseous exchange is defined as the process by which respiratory gases, that is carbon four oxide and oxygen, are passed across the respiratory surfaces. Now, different organisms actually have got different ways in which gaseous exchange occur. For instance, in simple uh, organisms, oxygen is absorbed by the ex by the exposed surfaces of the body by simple diffusion. Okay, we shall see that later. On the other hand, in complex organisms like me, you, plants, etc., they have specialized organs which are actually used for gaseous exchange. Examples, we have the lungs, the gills, uh, the skin, buccal cavity, etc., as we shall see later. These organs usually absorb oxygen and remove carbon dioxide from the body. Now, one mechanism in which uh, brings about gaseous exchange is through what we call concentration gradient. Gaseous exchange occurs because of the existence of concentration gradient between the body of living organisms and its surrounding medium. Okay? Now, for you to understand the concept of concentration gradient, I think we have to look at this particular uh, diagram. Okay, I have a better one here. So in this diagram, let us actually have a, a keen look at the, the, the diagram on the left-hand side of the screen. Okay? What do you see? Probably, you have noticed that on the left-hand side, we have more molecules than the inner or than the, the right-hand side of this particular cell membrane. Okay? Therefore, uh, this shows that there exists concentration gradient between the left-hand side of the membrane and the, 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 the right-hand side, meaning the outside, there is higher concentration of the molecules than the inner. Eventually, in case there exists such difference in concentration, the molecules will tend to move from where they are highly concentrated to where they are lowly concentrated. Through which process? Through diffusion. Is it clear? Therefore, gaseous exchange occurs due to the process of concentration gradient between or existing between the body of an organism and its surrounding. Good. Let us now move to uh, the significance or importance of gaseous exchange. So what is the importance of gaseous exchange? Now, gaseous exchange provides oxygen for respiration in all organisms. That is the first and foremost uh, significance of gaseous exchange. It provides oxygen for respiration in all organisms. We normally breathe in air rich in oxygen. Upon the air reaching our lungs, actually gaseous exchange occurs in there where the oxygen is absorbed into the blood while carbon dioxide leaves the blood to the alveoli of the lungs. Is it clear? Then the oxygen is taken to all the cells of the body where it is utilized for which process? For respiration. So we are saying that here that uh, gaseous exchange is very important because it provides oxygen for respiration in all organisms. Point number two is that 
gaseous exchange provide carbon for oxide, which is necessary for autotrophs to manufacture their own food for photosynthesis or by the process of photosynthesis. Green plants manufacture their own food. One of the raw materials is carbon four oxide. If it were not for gaseous exchange to have existed, then green plants could not have actually obtained carbon four oxide from the surrounding. We shall learn that later. Another significance is that uh, it facilitates carbon four oxide removal from the body as a metabolic waste product. Our bodies carry out metabolic processes like uh, respiration. One of the byproducts which actually is produced is what we call the carbon four oxide. So carbon four oxide will be moved from our cells to the atmosphere by the aid of gaseous exchange. Therefore, we can say gaseous exchange facilitates carbon four oxide removal from the body as a metabolic waste. Another function or importance of gaseous exchange is removal of excess water. Excess water also is a form of metabolic waste. So excess water can be expelled in its liquid form through urine, sweat, etc. But in gaseous state, actually it is removed uh, from the body by uh, by the respiratory surfaces. Therefore, we can say that uh, gaseous exchange is very important in these four main ways. Now, how do plants cut out gaseous exchange? Which features help plants to cut out gaseous exchange? Okay. If you are able to answer those questions, then you are good to go. I want us to uh, talk about gaseous exchange in plants. Gaseous exchange in plants. Now, green plants actually need oxygen for respiration. There are two main processes which are very important in plants. Respiration and photosynthesis. These two processes require the respiratory gases. So gaseous exchange in plants is necessary because it aids the plant to gain oxygen for respiration to take place because plants require energy also to cut out various metabolic processes and carbon four oxide. This carbon four oxide is used as a raw material for photosynthesis. Now, during the day, plants absorb in carbon four oxide because they carry out uh, photosynthesis, which is uh, re which requires carbon four oxide as a raw materials, and they give out oxygen. While at night, they give out carbon four oxide and take in oxygen. Now, during photosynthesis, some of the oxygen is given out, or some of the oxygen which is uh, produced as a byproduct is given out. Such or that particular oxygen can also be used by uh, reused by the same plant for uh, respiration. But because during the day the rate of photosynthesis is faster than the rate of uh, respiration, most or uh, some or the excess oxygen is given out as a byproduct. So during the day we have learned that plants take in carbon four oxide and give out oxygen. At night, when there is no sunlight, at night when there is no sunlight, plant take in oxygen for respiration and give out carbon four oxide, which is a, a, a byproduct of respiration okay now at this particular hour we want to quickly review uh, how the 
respiratory surfaces in plants are adapted. But before we go to that particular uh, slide, I want to first of all to mention a few respiratory surfaces in plants. Now, examples of sites where gaseous exchange occur in plants are stomata, okay, stomata, pneumatophores, this one occurs in roots, especially for aquatic plants here, like the mangroves, okay, they use pneumatophores, I think you're able to see here. So we have stomata, as they are seen in this particular uh, figure, we can also have pneumatophores and lenticels. Lenticels are usually found in woody stems. We can actually look at it here. This is a lenticel. Okay. It is made up of loosely packed cells where actually gaseous exchange occurs. So having we known uh, the various uh, respiratory surfaces, I think it's prudent enough for us to move ahead and discuss about the adaptations of respiratory surfaces in plants. Okay? Now, respiratory surfaces in plants have got a number of adaptations which facilitate gaseous exchange in those surfaces. These adaptations include, number one, they are usually moist. And the reason for them to be moist is to dissolve respiratory gases. This is in order to facilitate diffusion of gases in solution form across the respiratory surfaces. Point number two, they have large surface area to increase the efficiency of gaseous exchange. A third adaptation is that they have increased ventilation due to the presence of stomata and lenticels and the epidermis, which are in contact with the surrounding medium. Another adaptation is that the mesophyll cells near the air spaces have thin cell walls. Thin cell walls. The thin membrane allow faster diffusion of gases. So we have learned a number of adaptations of respiratory gases here. One of which we have said is that 